girls' day out. Yeah, it's been a while since we've had one. Mm, and it's not over yet. What do you say to hot fudge Sundays? For lunch? Sure, why not? Come on, what do you say? You were covering well up until the ice cream part. What? Well, when I used to go to the doctor's for a shot, you always used to follow it up with an ice cream cone, so I figured trip to the shrink, maybe move it up to a Sunday in the new wardrobe. Okay, okay, you caught me. <laughs> so you don't want the clothes or the ice cream Oh, Sunday. I didn't say no. that. No, I didn't think so. Oh, sweetie. Starting therapy takes a lot of courage. I just want you to think of today as my way of saying I'm proud of you for taking the first step. Well, I didn't exactly do it all by myself. Oh, I gave you a nudge. You made the appointment for me. Yes, but you did the hard part. It was no big deal. I just talked and Felicia listened. She didn't tell you what we were talking about, did she? No, no, absolutely not. That's between you and Felicia. Sweetie, I just want you to know, you don't have to put up a brave front all the time. If you feel like smiling, that's great. But if you don't, that's okay, too. What's not to smile about? We're having ice cream for lunch. I'm serious, Mom. I'm home now with my family, and I have a little baby brother or sister on the way. What more could a girl want? Okay. Penelope, Spencer Spaulding, Penny Spaulding. Penny, time for dinner. <laughs> All right, a boy. Preston, Spencer Spaulding. Preston. Oh, the kids will torture him at school. <laughs> Patricia Spencer Spaulding. Paul Spencer. Got a thing for the peas. Hey. Uh, how long have you been standing there? Since Preston. Oh. You're right. The other kids have eaten him a lot. Well, I just, I know I want the baby to have your initials. You know, if it's a boy, we could call him Philip Jr. No. I just, I just think that this child deserves to have a life and a name of its own. How long it took me to get out from under my father's shot. I think Gus had that pleasure for a while now. No, Gus will never replace you and Alan's heart. Oh, he has already replaced me. <laughs> Alan made it very clear he wants nothing to do with me. Yeah, with his Or baby. with you, yeah. I just... Doesn't sound like Alan, does it? Mm -hmm. I mean, if he's pretending not to care, it's because he has something up his sleeve. Yeah. Well, everybody does. Everybody does. And you know what? I, I, I don't care anymore. Because I've had it with other people telling me how to run my life. Sorry I'm late. I'm uh, being fitted for a new suit. Man, yeah, like you need another suit? Well, if I'm going to be playing the role of a uh, very wealthy, handsome businessman, I have to look the part. Alan, you're going undercover because you already are the part. You know, I have to be honest with you. I have never paid a woman to mm -hmm. go on a date. Yeah, well, you should try it sometime. It's fun. I'm kidding. It was a joke. Mm -hmm. Not serious. Look, let's... Let's just talk about the important stuff here, okay? You are gonna go out with these women, with Eden's escorts, because you gotta flush out the killer for us. I'm aware of that. All right. What is that? It's the Cooper Super Duper. Right? All right. Uh, miss, I'll, um, I'll have uh, one of these, okay? Sure. Um, I have some ideas about some identities I can play undercover. Yeah, Alan, you are the most recognizable faces in Springfield. Why don't we just keep it simple, okay? All right, what's Good. the plan? All right, the plan? The plan is honesty. May I make a suggestion? No, absolutely not. No suggestions. Thank you, anyway. I'm going to Eden, and I am telling her that we are putting an undercover operative in as a client. End of story. Can we trust her? She's my sister. That didn't answer my question. <sighs> Do you think that you can handle this? What, the sandwich? No, it... everything. All of this. Don't worry, son. I got you covered. If there's anything I learned today, it was don't mess with Blake. Thank you. 
No, seriously, your self-defense course you taught my girls was a lifesaver. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's going to save your girls is to find that killer. That's right. So I hand it over. What? Your little black book. <laughs> no. I told you already. No, I told you, Eden, I can't protect you and your girls until I, ha I know the names of your clients. Because I'm betting one of them is the killer. Okay, look, Blake, maybe it's time to coordinate with Gus and the police. No, my clients are not bad people. Of course they're not. Would you just give me the book? Hey, they're still holding Ben. We cannot rule out that husband. All right, fine. But it's confidential. Of course. All right. All right. All right. <gasps> Blake! Ugh. Are you packing heat? This is my case. I will handle it, okay? Unless you're gonna take over. This week. There's no way I'm going to end up the only loser in this mess. Isabella is desperate. I love you. You don't even know the meaning of the word love. To hold on to a marriage. I want you completely out of my life. I will do whatever it takes. That's on the verge. Is that a threat? You consider it a promise and a threat. Of a total meltdown on the young and the restless. Hey. <laughs> it's your case, Blake. I got my hands full with the kids. Uh-huh. I was just trying to help. Okay? You've been out of the private eye loop for a while. I thought you could use maybe a little professional insight about that, for example. Well, you know, you'll be pleased to know I still have a permit. And I've maintained my marksmanship at the shooting range. I have. But come on, Blake. A gun? Three people have been murdered, Harley. I can't protect Eden and her girls with a nail file. I agree with her 100%. I mean, she did a terrific job today with the girls. I know she'll protect us until she finds that killer. Okay, but it will happen a lot faster if you coordinate with Gus. No, 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 no. If you bring in my brother, he will safely put us to the sidelines, and then he'll bring in the big boys and take over. That's right. There's things I can do as a PI that Gus would never give his stamp of approval on. You are seriously worried about Gus's stamp of approval? The man laughs in the face of protocol. And by the way, he was very supportive of my instincts when we were working on a case. Yeah, well, honey, that's when you were partners. But look around you, because everything's changed. Okay? Come on. Let's get going. Where were we? The whole force has been working this case from every single angle, mm -hmm. okay? And the only thing that we do know is that we cannot rule out anything or anyone. Does that mean that Eden is a suspect? Well, speaking as a brother, I know she didn't do it, you know? Mm. Speaking as a cop, I can't rule her out or anybody else, and that does include her, yes. I understand. When something shady's afoot, uh, I'm in the position of never ruling out my sister as a suspect. But I don't think you have to worry about that right now. Alexandris has been kind of lying low. Well, that's when I really start to worry. Do you think you can handle this honestly, no matter what happens? Sure. Okay, I'm gonna need you to sign this right here on the dotted line. Okay? On this line right here, because I'm gonna deputize you. And you're gonna need to disclaim all and any legal actions against the Springfield PD. Huh. <laughs> you know what? You're a gutsy and determined young man. I like that, Gus. You go after what you want, no matter where the chips fall. That's the kind of son I've always wanted. Um, let's get two things perfectly straight, okay? I'm in charge of this operation. You do not do anything or make a move without clearing it with me first, okay? All right. Now, okay. Uh, what about uh, paying for the bill? I will pay for the bill. Yeah. I will pay for lunch today. What's number two? Number two is you do not need to build me up by putting Philip down. Clear? Don't knock Philip off the job. Clear everything about the job with you. Exactly. You know something? I think this is the beginning of a beautiful partnership. I'm just a little out of sorts. No, don't do this, don't. Please don't do this. If there's something going on, I wish you would just tell me. There's nothing going on. Well, then what did you mean everyone's got something up their sleeve? Who else is manipulating you besides Alan? You know what? I shouldn't have brought it up. That's the last thing that you need right now. No, just forget what it. What I need is to know what's bothering you. 
Is... Is it me? Is it the baby? Because I've read that sometimes fathers get very anxious as, as the due date gets closer and... No, it's not you and the baby. Well, is it Alan and Gus? Is it... I didn't say that. Oh, God. Oh, God, you won't say anything. It's... Look, let's not do this right now, okay? Let's just not. Who cares if Alan aligns himself with Gus, really? I mean, come on. He's just doing it to get back at you for, for choosing the baby and me over him. You really think that this is all about you? Uh, you and Alan have been fighting over this baby and me from the start. I don't... I don't know. What? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You weren't even here when this started. No, this is about Alan and me. We like to see how much we can hurt each other. We like to see how much we can push each other and still remain father and son. How you could have been with both of us and not known that. It's, it's over. <laughs> no, it's not over. It'll never be over. It started long before you were here. It'll be going long after... After I'm gone. That's what you were gonna say, right? I didn't say that. You didn't have to. Where are you going? I'm going to work. Where I'm wanted, or at least needed. I was a fool, okay? I was a fool to think that this baby and I were enough for you. No. Olivia isn't exactly the first choice for Dad, but she's not even in the top ten. Well, that must bother you. No. He's happy. So I'm happy. You can't exactly pick your relatives, not even the step ones. It's not exactly the best situation, but I'm dealing. Well, that's very, uh, admirable of you, Lizzie. Well, therapy is very self-actualizing. <laughs> Isn't that what they say? You've had one session. I'm a fast learner. Mm, my turn. How do you feel about Dad and Olivia having a baby? Oh. <laughs> okay, fair question. Well, I'd like to say that I have as positive an attitude as you do about it. But you don't. I want your dad to be happy, just like you do. But it's hard watching him start a new family with somebody else. Do you ever feel that... that good, you... good for you, Mama. I'm, I'm just happy to see you're not trying to be all noble about this whole thing. No, no. Actually, uh, I get pretty upset about it at times. But mostly, I just get angry. Angry how? Well, angry that things can't be the way they used to be. Our little family had its flaws, but I miss it. It's crazy, huh? No. Everything's kind of messed up now. It's, it's okay for you to be upset or mad, whatever. It's cool. It's cool? Well... Yeah. I mean, for you, I'm, I'm dealing just fine. Hello? Is anybody here? daylights out of me. The door was open. So what, that's just an invitation to walk in here? Who do you think you are? Alan Spaulding. What are you doing here? I came here looking for you. I don't live here. How did you know that I would be here? Oh, I have my ways of finding out. This is, uh, different. I love the, the, uh, multicolored garbage cans out front, very unique. 
Yeah, well, I'm sure your limo looks great parked next to them. Limos look great parked next to anything. Now, Eden, please, don't, don't get your back up, because I come in peace. I noticed that uh, you've been reading about uh, the murders. So that's why you're here? That's why you're here. Because it's not safe to go home. You see, I want to help you find the killer before he or she strikes again. Why do you care? Because I'm Gus's father, and you are the only other family he has. That's not a good enough reason. The bottom line is I want to earn Gus's trust. And it takes time to build up a relationship with your son, but I intend on doing that. Well, I really don't understand what part I have in that. Hmm. Well, if you will just pipe down and listen, I will tell you because you play a very key part. Hey, ladies. How's it going? Don't tell me I know kids play date, right? Right. So, where's the kids? Uh, with Blake's nanny at the zoo. This uh, was actually more a mommy's play date. Right. I get it. I think it's something about the top secret women stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't want to know. Right. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> so, uh, Harley, um, you just, you know, tell me how that apple turnover recipe turns out because, you know, I don't turn it over to just anybody. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And you be careful with that little glue gun of yours, okay? Because those things can be dangerous. Don't have to tell me twice. Okay, come here. <clears throat> Call me if you change your mind about the partner thing, okay? okay. All right, Gus. Yeah. See you later, alligator. See you later. Um, I'll bring the boys by, and thank you. Okay. Bye. Blake has a glue gun? Uh, let's not talk about Blake. Hmm. I want to talk about why you're home so early. Well, I got off for good behavior. Mm. And I thought maybe we could come home and have a little naughty, naughty behavior. Now I see the kids aren't here. So, uh, I got the wine, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? What do you think? Huh? I think, wow, you're home early. That must uh -huh. mean that things are pretty slow at the station. Right? Is Ben uh, still being held mm. down there? I'm holding you. Mm. Just focus. Uh-huh, right. Focus. And set the mood. Done. Don't go anywhere. Right. I can't okay. You have a break in this case. What? I said I can't believe that you got a break from your case yeah. and got to come home. What I was thinking so is good. we could have a little break. We could go upstairs, you and I, and we could slip under the covers. Well, undercover stuff. That's what I'm talking about. Stakeout, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, well, let's not talk about work, okay? We're having ourselves a moment. Well, we are. This is, you know, sharing, talking. That's that's intimate stuff. Mm. Sweetie, I there's something I should tell you about before. Oh, I have to tell you something, actually. But uh, go ahead. Go, you go. No, you go first. <laughs> you. I got a new partner. Wow. Already. That's great. Uh, I hope it's somebody good. It's Alan. He's going to work undercover with me. Hi. Oh, ice cream for lunch. We're having a mother-daughter day. That's nice. Would you care to join us? Yeah, you should sit down. You look pale. No, no, I'm too busy to sit down, but thank you. When was the last time you ate? <sighs> I don't know. A while ago. You know what? I'll just call Dad. He can he no, come over. No, no, that's okay. But I have myself... That's okay. Uh, I... Sweetie. You know what, why don't, why don't you take your bags and go back to the house, and I'll meet you there in a few minutes. But what about our mother-daughter day? I don't know if it's just a little intermission. We'll finish it up later. Sure. I hope you feel better, Olivia. I'm fine, Beth. Mm, yes, I know that fine. I was in love with him, too. This has nothing to do with Philip. No, of course, of course it doesn't. Why don't you pull up a chair? Well, wouldn't you just love that? What better satisfaction than to listen to the woman who stole Philip from you? Admit that she's losing him. What?
We will continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. Olivia, you're pregnant. This has been helpful, Beth. Thanks a lot. No, no, I, I'm just saying that whatever the trouble is with Philip may not be about Philip. It may just be your hormones. This is about Philip. If you want to gloat, go ahead and gloat, but don't you dare stand there and pretend to care about me when you don't. Okay, okay. okay. okay I'm sorry. Just don't get upset. It's not good for you or the baby. I just thought that you needed someone to talk to, but maybe you can talk to somebody else. Who? I have no friends or family in this town. I used to. I blew that too, didn't I? Okay, so we're not friends anymore, but when my daughter was in jail, you bailed her out and I couldn't. So I guess that makes us... What? Well, uh, I don't know exactly, but I owe you. So if you want to talk, I'm here. Olivia, I know you're going through a major life change here. But so is Philip. He's trying to figure out where he fits into his family. Oh, yes, that precious Spalding dynasty. No matter how you slice it, that's what it comes back to. You're preaching to the choir. I used to think it was everything, you know? But now I know that lives are built on love and passion, not money and power. I know at least one Spalding who would disagree with you on yeah, that. I know who's preaching to the choir. I married that one. Yeah. <laughs> I would do anything to have Philip look at me the way he used to before. Before what? Before I slept with Alan. You think this is funny? No, no, I just, I get it now. What? What the trouble is. This is classic, Philip. I don't know what he's told you, but whenever he looks at you, he's wondering if that baby is his or Alan's. No, no, he told me that we would raise this baby as our own, that it didn't matter. No, it matters, believe me. I've been there, remember? James? And I did the same thing you're doing. I didn't want to get the test. I loved Jim, and I wanted that baby to be his, not Philip's. And I thought wanting it was enough. But in the end, Lizzie got sick, and she needed a cord blood transplant. And you had to find out if the baby was a match. I was just putting off the inevitable, and I have to believe you were doing the same thing. It was thing. different. It was different with you and Jim. He stuck by you e even when he found out the baby was Phillips, didn't he? Yes, he did. He was pretty incredible. Well, if Philip finds out this baby is Alan's... You Alan, don't think that he'll stick by you? know him, you? do you? I can't. I can't do it. Olivia, you have to. Get the DNA test. Find out whose child you're carrying. Hey, honey, come on in. This is a nice surprise. Mm. Although, what paying for all this isn't going to be. <laughs> it's a worry. Yeah? They're on Mom's credit card. Oh, well, in that case, I guess it's all right. You should have told me you were going to stop by. I would have cleaned up. The place is a little bit of a mess. Well, it was kind of a last-minute decision. Yeah? What's up? What's all that? Uh, uh, nothing. I was, um... What? I was doing a little writing. Don't laugh. No one's laughing. I think that's great. Yeah? Can I read it? Well, actually, I just gotten started. It's, I mean, it's not much. It's just notes. I don't care. So, what are you writing about? <laughs> Tom the Pirate Boy? <laughs> You remember those corny old bedtime stories I used to tell you? Hey, I didn't find those corny. When I was little, I couldn't sleep a wink till I found out what Tom was up to. Mm -hmm. In fact, when I was sick in the hospital, that's something I miss the most at Lights Out. You never told me that. You never asked. I guess when the new baby gets here, Tom the pyro will make his big comeback. I saw Olivia at the beacon. How'd she look? Pale. Because it's hard being pregnant. But hey, the baby will be here soon and everything will be great, right? Hey, you know what? I didn't even offer you something to drink. I sometimes forget that Thomas and Nolan don't live here. Yeah, I think I've got uh, some juice or... Hey. You're 
you're not sorry that Olivia's having a baby, are you? Honey, a, uh, a child that's loved is life's greatest joy and blessing. Yeah, well, that's great for a greeting card, Dad, but you didn't answer my question. Or maybe you did. So you want a relationship with me? Let me say this. You are Gus's sister, and anyone that matters to Gus matters to me. So I hope that someday you feel that you can ask me for anything. Well, how about $50 million in small bills? <laughs> how about something priceless? I'm all ears. Like helping you out of this little mess that you're in. What mess? Eden, let's not waste time. Three people connected to you have been murdered. The police are starting to suspect that the culprit may be a serial killer. How do you know all of this? The same way I know that you were here at the museum. Would you like for me to regale you with many stories about your life? Like? Like your first job at Telly's Deli, where you were fired for stealing money out of the cash register. But you landed on your feet at the 8th Street Car Wash, where questionable... Okay, all right, that is enough. <sighs> no, I've only begun. You see, you have lived a life working on the wild side, and I have a file on you this thick that begins with your first step and ends this morning with what you had for breakfast. You said earlier that relationships are based on trust. Mm -hmm. Well, how am I supposed to trust you when you are digging into my past? I am about to become your most important client. So the question is, can I trust you? Well, somebody's got to hold the fort down while you and Al and Eden go conquer the world. Yeah, but tell me, the... tell me what this is about, okay? I'm not giving it to you. Hey, I don't, I don't tell don't you how to do your job. Don't tell me how to do my job. Oh, is that what this is about, then? You see, you cannot do that. You can't have it both ways. You can't quit the force and then resent me for still being on the force. I don't resent you for still being on the force. Well, then just tell me what it is. It's about Alan. Can't you see it? The man does everything he can to lure you into his world, and when that doesn't work, he goes barging straight into yours. Philip and I decided together not to get a DNA test. We chose not to know whether the baby was his or Alan's. Okay, well, that's one thing to say it. It's another to live it. If the baby turns out to be Phillips, maybe you two will work things out, maybe you won't. But at least she'll know where you stand. And if the baby is Alan's? Same answer. Then why do the test now? For Lizzie. Oh. Well, I should have known you had an agenda. No, then. Lizzie is not my agenda. She's my daughter, and she has grown up in a household full of lies and whispers. And that's my fault? No. But I have to believe it would be better for your children and mine if things were out in the open and dealt with. Get the DNA test. I could lose Philip. A few minutes ago, you said you were losing him already. So why don't you just save your gloating for now, Beth? Has this all been self-serving advice? I'm sure you're real anxious to have Philip back on the market. You make it so hard to be your friend. Get the DNA test, don't get the DNA test. But if you love Philip as much as you say you do, you'll give him the truth. So you, a very rich and influential man, wants to hire an escort from me. How else am I going to smoke out the killer if I don't spend time with your escorts and your clients? Does Nikki know about this? Yes, of course he does. We worked on it together. 
You are the wild card. Well, I don't think the killer is one of my clients or any of my girls. You also have male escorts, do you not? Yeah. You want to hire the guys, too? It's a very small town, Alan. You'll raise a few eyebrows with that one. Let me take care of the logistics. Now, I want to get started. So I want to book every one of your girls. Everyone? Yes. They're escorts. They're not playmates. Right, and I can't wait to view their needlepoint. <laughs> well, you know, this is going to be a very pricey project. Well, let's just say we're keeping the money in the family. Now, I want to meet every one of your girls, one at a time, starting with the one that's worked for you the longest. Uh, are, are you having a problem with this? I, I screwed up. I was completely out of line. You mean it? Yeah. Yeah, do you? No. No, I do. Oh, you're funny. Just kidding. Just kidding. Of course I do. Mm -hmm. I, I, you're right. I want one foot here at home, and I want one foot at the station, and I can't do it. I can't. There's none of Harley you know, to go you're around. Right, and you were right. I shouldn't have said that you resent me for being on the force. I know that you don't. Okay, well, I forgive you. Yeah, yeah, I forgive you. <laughs> me too. And the Alan thing? What about him? Just, do you have any problem with him being part of the gig? I... I know that he's got his claws in you for his own selfish reasons, but I will trust you to handle that. How's that? And I, I, I see that you're handling everything, and I'm very impressed. It's just a little cleaning. No, I'm talking about it. leaving the forest for the kids and keeping yourself safe. And I know that's hard for you because I know you love your job. Well, I love my kids more than I love you. I can never go through that day again when he got shot, thinking I'm not going to be with you, you know or something. What? You won't have to. <sighs> All right, that's good. So I'm stuck with you. That's what you're saying. Pretty much. <laughs> can we just start over, please? Okay. <laughs> mm. I just, I have, just to have to do, do one, one thing. thing. Dr. Sevick, it's Olivia Spencer. No, no, everything's fine. There, there's no trouble with the baby. I just... I just had a change of heart about the DNA test, and I, I um, would like to go ahead with it. Yeah, the sooner the better. I'm not a kid. If something's up, you can tell me. Honey, it's complicated. When is it not in this family? Look. Olivia and I, we have some issues, okay? That's normal in a relationship. Normal? Mm-hmm. Uh, I came home to find my step-grandmother living with my dad and pregnant, not knowing whether the baby is his or my grandfather's. Uh, normal went out the window a long time ago. Hey, who do you think you're talking to, young lady? I'm your father. I'm sorry, Dad. It... I just want you to know I'm on your side. I know you and Olivia are together, but if you're ever... Not. I'm here for you. I know that, honey. And I love you for it. But that's enough, okay? You have enough to worry about taking care of yourself. Stop trying to raise your father. Let's have some juice. Dad? Yeah? Would you still be with Olivia if there wasn't a baby? There is a baby. And that baby is going to need me. And Olivia is going to need me. Stop worrying so much. Everything will work out. Sure, it will. You know, it's just when you said keep it in the family, you know, because um, I'm not Nikki's family anymore. Oh, that's ridiculous, Eden. Of course you are. You're his sister. Now, let's get back to business because I... You're really, uh... You're really upset about this, aren't you? Yeah. You know, when we were growing up, it was just me and Nikki in, in our own little world, and... Then Harley came along, and I lost a piece of him. And then I...
screwed up a couple of times and... Screwed up a couple of times? My research says it was uh, a few times more than that. Okay, all right, it was. And I lost a piece of him then, too. But now that you, you are like the kiss of death. What does that mean? Because the only reason he put up with me is because I was blood. And now, with you, he doesn't have to. Let me give you a little advice on family, on fathers and sons and sisters and brothers, okay? All right, give me some advice on family. Sometimes the family ties that bind are a lot looser than they appear to be. And you don't find out that until everything unravels. That's very reassuring. Yes, but sometimes you discover unexpected family that you didn't know about that serve you well. So what are you saying? I know that Gus thinks of you as family. And I hope that someday you think of me as family. Well, then how about that $50 million? Don't hold your breath. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you have to do? I uh, phone call. You? Phone call? The case? Mm. Kids? Right. Okay. Uh, I will meet you back here in three minutes. Okay. Okay? You better. <laughs> Take it outside. Yeah. Hey. Hey, Harley, what's up? Kids are still at the zoo. No, I, I know. Uh, I was wondering, uh, are you still in the market for a partner? Or... Well, nothing's changed in the last 20 minutes. Who do you have in mind? Me. This has been Guiding Light. 